Cloud. Praise Lord, we greet the nations in Asia and Africa, um, Missouri and the U.S., the nation, state, but we'll call it that. Uh, we pray for a great move of God today. And uh, I do want to mention, we're getting ready to go to God in prayer. I was going to a totally different way in, this, in uh, the message. And uh, <clears throat> a totally different direction in the message. And uh, I kept feeling that something was not lined up right. And then throughout the night, I kept waking up. As I woke up, God laid the scripture I'll be mentioning from today on my part. In fact, a bunch of scriptures uh, in one area of the Bible. And so I got up actually early and I re redid it, reprinted it, uh, you know, et cetera. And so God is moving in a mighty way. We want him to have his way. We'll be mentioned on faith today. Like I told my wife, no, yeah, I said, either someone in the class needs this or someone on Facebook later on by Zoom, uh, be on a YouTube channel uh, available from all over the world. And so, uh, but somebody needs this message. And so let's pray. Lord Jesus, we love you, Lord. We praise and worship you, Lord, above every name. God, it's not by might, it's not by power. God, but it's by your spirit, says the Lord of hosts. Even right now, at the beginning of this meeting, I bind every sickness, every disease, every spirit of infirmity, every foul spirit of death right now. I command every pain, spirit of pain to leave now. God, every addiction we break, every spirit of addiction we break right now. In Jesus' oh, name, yes, dear God, because there is none like it to my yes, God. Hallelujah. You are the great I am, the oh, God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. You are my God, and yes, my Lord. trust, Lord. God, there is none God. like it to you, Lord. That's right. Lord. I bless the Lord, oh my soul. Thank you, Lord. I bless your holy name thank today. You, thank, you. thank you, Lord, for this day, this opportunity. In Jesus' name, we pray for the trip that yes. is coming up. Yes, God, Lord. in your hand to be upon us, Lord, and you meet every financial need. God, we thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name. We thank you, Lord. Yes, Lord. Amen. Amen. We appreciate all of you that have been praying for our Africa trip, sewn into it. So that trip is going to cost probably at least $10,000 in our missions. And if you don't realize how, how expensive these things are, you got airfares, you got hotels, you got help training, you got food. And um, it can get higher than that at time. My last trip to the Philippines, that would be anomalous twice that amount. And so, but when it's God's will, it's God's will, right? Amen. Amen. God's will, God's will. And get it straight. <laughs> so let's go to Romans chapter four. <clears throat> Excuse me. Appreciate everybody helping set up, put everything together. Amen. We got set up way early. I could have slept later. <laughs> yeah. Amen. Normally we get up six fifteen to get up, get ready, get up here and get set up. And um, this morning at eight twenty five, everything was done. I said, "Wow." Romans chapter four, verse thirteen. I'm going to go through slow. I'm going to stop many times. For the promise that he would be the heir of the world was not to Abraham or to his seed through the law, but through the righteousness of faith. Now let's stop there. I want you to understand that Abraham lived before law. Abraham tithed before law. Okay, before the law of Moses. And, and so uh, th this faith we're going to be talking about today it is not through the law, it's through the righteousness of faith. And you will find that when we have faith, it's accounted to us for righteousness. And our righteousness comes to the Lord. Yeah. Our good works, I do good works because I am saved. I do not do good works to get saved. Right. Amen. Amen. I come to church, I return tithes to God, I give offer, I do other works because I am saved. But that did not save me. His grace saved me. Yeah, His unmerited favor that I did not deserve. Amen. While we're yet sinners, Christ died for us. Amen. Excuse <clears throat> me. Verse 14. For in those who are the law or heirs, faith is made void. And the promise made and the promise made in no effect. 
Because the law brings forth rad. Where there's no law, there's no transgression. Okay, we got to get in the meat of the message. Therefore, therefore it means a little what I just said. Okay? Therefore, it is a faith that it might be according to grace so that the problem might be sure to all see, not only to those who are of the law, but also those who are of the faith of Abraham, who is the father of us all. Let's chew on that a minute. That faith is according to grace, that unmerited favor of God. That promise is sure to all see, not, not to just those under the law of the Jewish, but of those who are the faith of Abraham, his father was all. You have to realize, according to Romans 4, that, that faith of Abraham we have because of the blood of Jesus. Because of the blood of Jesus, I tap into the faith of Abraham. Yes. That I can operate in a dimension <clears throat> that Abraham operated in because of the blood of Jesus. I talked before, long ago in here, is like a big IV, you know, like an IV in a hospital. <clears throat> Excuse me, don't start twitching or anything, think about hospitals. But the IV in a hospital, uh, think about from heaven right now, from the throne of God, this, this picturesquely speaking, is like a big IV hose coming from the throne of God, all the way down through the, through the ages to us right here. Mm. Amen. Amen. We're fully connected to heaven. Oh. Fully connected. Praise Jesus, as we come out of the grave, teaching 40 days and things of the kingdom of God, according to Acts chapter 1, ascending into heaven and sitting on the right hand of the Father. <clears throat> he is a head of the body, but we are members of the body. So far, my head has always been connected to my body. Many people try to sever it. But so far, it's still connected. You know, I've had bullets go so close my head. Your, <clears throat> your head hurts so bad. This is a report of the bullets going by. <clears throat> but it didn't connect. You have to remember, you're totally connected to Jesus Christ, the head of the body, Amen. at all times. Amen. Amen. Yes. Down south, we used to sing the song, Come by here, Lord, come by here. But really, it means manifest here. Because the Bible says there's no place that God is not. He feels all in all. Amen. 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 We really say, Lord, manifest here. My angels are with me right now. My war angels right here on each side. There's a little bit behind me. He's saying, right here, right here. And, and they're, they're with me. I don't see them. I don't feel them. <clears throat> but they're here because God decides to be with me the rest of my life. And many have seen them. And when they manifest, and then they grab my arms and everything. Okay, but the thing is, uh, they come out here, Lord. Lord, manifest here. <clears throat> and get it. The individual, the presence of God, where they connect and realize God is downloaded. Mm -hmm. Praise God. Yes. Yes. It's like your blood is pumping through your, your, your body right now. And, and your heart is pumping it. And that blood's going around, around, around. But the heart of God is pumping into us right now. Yes. And we have to realize it's there. That we're receiving a download from heaven. Hallelujah. That, 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 we're not just a regular human being, not me anymore. It's we. It's Christ in me, the hope of glory. Yes. Yes. Without him, I could do nothing at all. Yes. But Amen. because because of him, we've seen over 12,000 miracles worldwide. Praise I've seen the dead raised right here in our town. Amen. Amen. All because of him, he just set us up. <clears throat> but God is moving in a mighty way. So you need to get connected that you know I am connected. I'm not just coming into church on Sunday. I'm gonna punch in, punch out. You know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna feel justified because I showed up. <clears throat> no, I'm connected, and I've come to be with my family, the family of God. Amen. I love being with the people of God. Amen. There's not a religious thing for me. I love being with the people of God. Amen. Hopefully, you love being around some of your family. Amen. This is, um, <laughs> verse seventeen. And it is, as it is written, I have made you a father of many nations. Now, stop there a minute. He told Abraham, I'll make you a father of many nations. He didn't have one child on the hillside. Mm -hmm. We're going to find out in a moment before the promised son came that Abraham was around 100 years old. She was around 90 years old. But God said, mm -hmm. if God said, that settles it. Mm -hmm. 
Right. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes. Praise God. I laid in that hospital a while back and they, they gave me all kinds of bad reports. But God, you said, you said this. Amen. God, you show me. I'm going to go here. God, you said. Yes, Lord. Amen. Amen. Yes, amen. The father of many nations in the presence of him who believes. God who gives life to the dead and calls those things which do not exist as though they did. Yes. <clears throat> this particular minute, but I teach you over and over. I teach in uh, Subject Before Time. I, I do it in my program more, more in depth than I did on YouTube, but it is on YouTube that, that we have to realize that before we were even born, before we, this earth was even created, uh, according to Psalms and Ecclesiastes, uh, God knew us. That's why in Jeremiah 1, God could tell Jeremiah, before you form your mother and woman, I knew you and ordained you a prophet. God already has a good plan for every one of us. Amen. Every Amen. one of us could probably say we wobbled and went off course at times. Yeah. But if we get on course, what God said he'd, he'd make us. Yes. And what God's will in this life for us to do, guess what? We'll do it. Yes. Amen. We'll be everything Amen. God said we yes. are. Yes. But we cannot lean to our own understanding. That's right. We got to commit our way to God, lean not to our own understanding. Amen. To Amen. follow after Him what He said. Yes, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Yes. <clears throat> so th this is so important. And, and God calls a thing to be not. For you that don't understand, I'll explain it. He calls a thing to be not yet in the natural, as though they are, because of the supernatural spiritual realm they are. He already did it. Jesus Christ is called the Lamb slain before the foundation of the world. Yes, mm -hmm. thank you, Lord. In the mind of God, it already happened. The yes. substance was already there. Mm -hmm. Praise God. Yes. <clears throat> yes. Wow. <laughs> the sun just came all over me. Mm -hmm. Enjoy yourself. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> and so, God gives life to the dead and cause the things which do not exist as though they did. See, Abraham needed a God like that. Because his body was dead to sire a child. Yeah. Abraham, Sarah's womb was dead. Mm -hmm. We'll talk more about that in a moment. <laughs> he needed a God <laughs> that could raise the dead. Yes, amen. Mm -hmm. I personally feel that the Lord allowed Abraham's seed to die in his loins so he could resurrect it. And I believe it cut out myself personally, Gordon three day. I believe it cut out a lot of iniquity of fathers. There's a dead burial resurrection right there in Abraham's loins. I told my children one time, I said, Well, I was fighting the jungles of Vietnam, you're with me in my loins. Is it dead? Quit talking like that. <laughs> <laughs> it was true. You know, they're in the jungle, but they just didn't realize it. <laughs> That'd be nice today. Hopefully, it doesn't just actually happen. And so, again, God gives life to the dead and calls the things that do not exist as though they did. Again, they do not exist in the natural. You don't see it yet, but God already did it. You transferred with the word. I have a whole message on YouTube on return of the word that you transfer with a word you speak the word the power is speaking the word that's why you receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit you speak in other tongues as the spirit gives you utterance yes. it's out loud and utterance mm. it's not you know that's the wrong church right okay <laughs> light your candle hey <laughs> it's out loud yeah and and and, and uh Mark 11, Jesus says, speak to the mountain. When you speak to the mountain, you're releasing a spiritual force. The word of God says death and life is in the power of the tongue. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so we're saying right here, and we're transferring from the supernatural realm to the natural realm with a word. Mm -hmm. and, and we're and we're calling the things that do not exist in the natural realm. As though they are, because the spirit and they are, and they transfer and they manifest in the spiritual. Oh, yeah. Amen. I, I've seen legs with surgery, six inches of it cut out in Poland. Uh, you know, about six inches short because of surgery, but auto accident. In 30 minutes time, it grows out my hands. 
Amen. Amen. God's got all the spirit ports we need. Praise God. Yes. Amen. <clears throat> Amen. Amen. So th there's nothing impossible, my God. Right. Right. You're like the song said, don't tell me God can't do it. Mm -hmm. I like to fix my own little words. So don't tell me my God can't do it. My God can do anything. I don't know about your God. My God can do anything. Amen. 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 Your God may sit on a little shelf, but mine is filled the whole universe. Yes, Amen. Verse 18. Who could trade a hope and hope believe so that he became the father of many nations according to what was spoken. So your descendants so shall your sentence be. <clears throat> this, we're going to tie this in the 19 here, verse 19. And not being weak in faith, he did not consider his own body already dead. <laughs> Since he was about 100 years ago, or the dead is a serious wound. He didn't consider it. He knew it. He knew the medical facts. Yeah. But when he took the medical facts and laid it next to God's promise, you believe God's promise. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so the doctor gives you a piece of paper and said, hey, we got a bad report. You got the cancer. They say downside, you got the cancer. Say, Thank you, Mr. Doctor. That's a fact. But truth overrules facts. Amen. The Amen. truth Amen. is by his stripes you're healed. Amen. Amen. Yes. Amen. Yes. 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 Amen. The truth is no weapon formed against you shall prosper. Mm. Amen. The truth is, when the enemy comes in like a flood, my God shall raise up a standard against him. Oh, yeah. against him. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. The truth is, the angels that camp around about those that fear him. Hallelujah. That's the yeah. truth. Yeah. Yes. Lord. Amen. Amen. Yeah. I've had so many cancers the size of my hand just disappear in my hand instantly, over and over. Goiter, boom, 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 like that. Bearing wounds open and they have children. Amen. Yeah. But the doctor said you'll never have a child. Don't care. Mm -hmm. you, thank you, Mr. Doctor. That, that's a medical fact, but I have something else. Yes. I got another report. Yeah. Amen. 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 Got rid of Deuteronomy 28. My dad read through it. And all I realized that barrenness is, is, is a curse, a curse. But but uh, a fruitful womb is a blessing from God. I said, well, no, I, I wasn't seeing it up people's wombs open. When I read that, I said, no problem. Jesus came to break the curse. And now when I pray, I always command the curse to be broken. Whether God want or not, I'm going to command it anyway. If I'm not sure, I just call it all. And God honors it. Yes. Amen? Amen. Amen? Guess what? Your parents today. Oh, Your parents God. today. Yes. Praise God. Amen? Amen. Because God raises the dead. Yes. Yes. Oh, how, how dead that body is I don't care and so let's look at 19 again not being weak in faith did not consider his own body he knew it but he didn't consider it already dead he's about 100 years old the dead is a serious woman I mean, he, if they had married back then I don't know if they probably dead but he was standing in front of the mirror and figured that out he looked over at Sarah and said she old <laughs> yeah. she all wrinkled up now Amen. But the thing is, he didn't consider it. He knew the fact. See, a lot of people go around trying to say, well, I'm just going to, I'm, I'm going to say, it. I'm not hurting. And that's faith. That's not faith. That's a happy, crappy, false doctor. Mm -hmm. If I hurt, I hurt. Mm -hmm. But be sure to say, I hurt, but I'm going to be healed by Jesus. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. The, don't say, oh, I'm hurt. I must be getting ready to die for something. Don't do that. You're cursing yourself. Mm -hmm. But yes, I hurt, but I'm going to be healed. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Whatever it is, speak the word of faith with it. Yes. It's okay to admit uh, for a woman to say, uh, the doctor said, uh, can I have a child? But Jesus said that he can heal that. Yes. yes. Amen. Don't believe it. Oh, God, I'm not going to have a child, I'll never have one. Mm -hmm. Some people say, oh, I got this, I'm going to die of this. Mm -hmm. No. Quit, quit confessing those yeah. curses. Mm -hmm. yes. yes. Amen. Amen. A lot of people are their own worst enemy. Mm -hmm. they're, they're cursing with their mouth. Mm -hmm. and, and I teach on blessing, curse not. You have been that teaching. In fact, I put some on its own on uh, YouTube. It, it probably... Probably most people that, that watch that is going to be very offended. Because I'm talking to Christians. Amen. Mm -hmm. 
they curse all the time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, not just outright curse word, but slang word would take the place of that one. Sorry. They think that's okay. It's not okay. Mm -hmm. It's the same spirit behind it, and you're cursing that. Yes. Yeah. But they don't realize why is all this breaking? Why am I having all these trouble? Why am I struggling with these finances? What's going on? Because the power, death, and life is in the tongue. Yes. You've been yeah. cursing yourself. Mm -hmm. Some people need to pray for a crop failure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, it takes it. We just eat watermelon outside and spit the seeds. You know, seeds go everywhere. The next spring, you're mowing the lawn and watermelon little plants are coming up. And we give the rise art. We had two horses. And the other horses love watermelon around. Right? They break it. They foam like a dog eating a frog. They love them. Mm -hmm. but it, it is, I mean, they're really foam. They love, love those things. But the thing is, what you spoke, what you sow, you're going to grow. Mm -hmm. yeah. I tell people, let me be redundant. Hang a voice-activated recorder around your neck for one week. The end of the week, sit down at your kitchen table and listen to everything you said all week. I guarantee you by the word of God mm -hmm. that everything going on in your life, you spoke it all week. Good or bad. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The good, bad, or the ugly. Because mm -hmm. your words... Or a lot. <clears throat> okay. Um, so you did not consider the day as a surgery. With verse 20, he did not waver the promise of God through unbelief, but strengthened in faith, gave glory to God. Now remember, Abraham one time decided he was going to pray for Sarah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sarah was pregnant. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 But well, see, Abraham did not lose sight that God was going to give him a son. He got mixed up how God was going to give him a son. Mm -hmm. And, and the, the Arabs and the, the Jews are still fighting to this day. Yep. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Uh, one time I want to talk to you about, about the, the, the promised sons. Amen. Amen. The sons of promise or the mm -hmm. child of doubt. Amen. Yeah. It's so, there's so much here. Uh, and so he strengthened faith, giving glory to God. He gave glory to God. He, he was giving glory. It was like if you just somebody gave you a million dollars a day, man, you'd be in that parking lot dancing. God, I love you. I thank you, Lord. I give you glory and honor and praise. But before he had it, he was doing that. Mm. Amen. So we're getting the promise of God and we get to give God glory. Yeah. We get to thank God before we receive it. I've had so many people come up in healing lines. And, and I've had stroke victims. Uh, one lady in Rochester, this side of her head, uh, or I, this eye was blurred, this side of her head was numb. And I think she had trouble lifting one arm. And I, I measured her. That's way before I got the dimensions I work in now. And, and, I was, and she there, I said, say, thank you, Jesus. When she said, thank you, Jesus, she's instantly healed. Praise God. Amen. Amen. Try thanking Jesus. Mm -hmm. Praise. Before you see the manifestation. Hallelujah. If you believe it, why are you thanking him already? Amen. If you believe it's already there, I'm just transferring. Amen. 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 The transfer for the million dollars comes through the bank. You already called me. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. No, you probably need that right now. So verse 21. Jesus. And being fully convinced that what he had promised, he was able to perform. Amen. Therefore, the account to him for righteousness. Think about it. The fact that you believe God, fully convinced, are you really fully convinced, or are you expecting another way? Yes. And we, we all work on this. We're, we, you know, we're not all walking on water. I don't walk on water every day, but I've got to be fully convinced what God said mm -hmm. will come to pass. I want to be here on this earth until God is through with me. Yes. I've, I've been to third heaven several times. I've been called away in the spirit. I can't tell you how many times in heavenly realms. And, and I know about the final boat. <clears throat> I'm no hurry to get there. You know why? There's a work to do right here. Yes. But my focus is, is on the work of God, reaching more people with the gospel, see more people healed, set free, training people to go out and do what I do and more. That's my focus in life. Praise God. No, not on a bigger house or fixing something around the house. You know, there, those things are necessary, I know. Amen. I got to get to my rhubarb yesterday. I thought I was in the jungle for a while, but I finally got the grass away and got to it and got to cut it. But the thing is, uh, that's not my focus in life. 
Some people get so busy with the things that's going to pass away with fervent heat. Like we say in Texas, it's not going to mount to a hill of beans in eternity. Mm -hmm. Only what's done for Christ will last. Amen. You know, Amen. they'll do it maybe 2% for the Lord and 98% for himself. And they seek after all their own things the rest of the, the, the week or the month. Yes. And they wonder why God's not flowing through them. Seek first to keep my heaven his righteousness. Amen. And the Bible says all these other things be added to this. Yes. Matthew 6 33. I just yes. quoted it. Seek him first, his righteousness, his will. Lord, what you want me to do? Yes. What's important to you? But most people, and he said, all these other things he had, you had the things, and those the things don't have you. Yes. But the thing is, most people seek things. <laughs> give me this, give me that, give me that. I want this. I got to take care of this. I want to take care of this. This broke. I got to do this. I got to do this. But they're not seeking God first. Right. Yes. God may have another plan. Yes. Amen. Amen. I may have another plan. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Okay, verse 23. Now, now it was not written for his sake alone that it was imputed to him. But, for, but also for us. It shall be imputed to us who believe in him who raised up Jesus, our Lord of the dead, who delivered up because of our offenses and was raised because of our justification. Mm. Amen. Amen. And what the, the, Abra the faith of Abraham is transferred to us through the blood of Jesus. Because mm -hmm. of Jesus' death, burial, resurrection, we can operate the faith of Abraham today. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We're not under law, it's before law. Praise God. Absolutely. I thank God for medical science. But like I said, that they give you the report, but the word of God is above it. Yes. Amen. 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 And also remember, you know, thank God for doctors. I, I got doctor, doctor friends, etc. But but uh they, they are practicing medicine. Mm -hmm. Take this pill, but don't work. But hey, come back. I'll give you another pill. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that work. I got another one for you. Yeah. Yep. That's good. Amen. They're practicing medicine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and it's so important for us to realize the move these dimensions. God's looking for a sold out vessel. Yes. Mm -hmm. Really. Back to six thirty three in Matthew again, but it's a sold out vessel. A lot of people want, I, I want God to do this. I want to see God do this in my life. But their life is, is totally out of order. Their life is totally shambles as far as the kingdom of God. Or oh, they may have had the most beautiful home and cars and cycles and boats and airplanes. Amen. Amen. What the airplane keep going in my house? Yeah, I do have a private pilot license. I had 20 years. Amen. But but uh, they go to my house and I was like, oh, yeah, I remember I used to fly over here myself. I used to fly out of the Kingston Airport when the the the, the landing strip was like a piece of spaghetti and not wide like it is today. Like that, you look down. Whoa, I'm gonna land on that. Amen. Praise God. One time, my daughter and I flew from Ellaville, picking up my dad's J4 Piper, and it was getting dark, and they didn't turn the lights on the Kingston Airport, and it just dust. I had kept looking and, and, and feeling if I had to come in hot feeling for the ground and she had no idea that we we're in danger. She was about 10 years old. We landed okay and I found that people standing around everywhere that could turn the lights on. I was circling, trying to hope somebody see me turn the lights on the they didn't. So I just come in feeling for the ground. Oh you know, it was right at dusk. Yes. It wasn't pitch flight, but it's too dark to land without lights. Yeah. But amen. God got us down, okay. <clears throat> we had a lot of exciting times then. I drove my son Darren going around the airport and, and the, 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 the trim cable broke. Boom! And it stick and that stick pulled me down. I had to hold it back, go land it, and then and ferry it over to Elgo to be worked on. But anyway, God took care. Amen. 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 Start, by the way. <laughs> oh my goodness. Amen. So many times that you know some sort of bad happened to my, my oldest son and I got in, we taxied right to the end of the to the edge of the runway, get her to go 
the tack jib to take off. And my dad bought a corn outside and take a little cheeky that just sticks in there. It turned totally black. The muffler, like the old Volkswagen, the, the exhaust of the muffler in there in the heating, and it had a hole in it and it spun the carbon dioxide right in the cab. So we would take it off and just pass out. Wow. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, yeah. yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Jesus. You're still living in Texas. Then. Yes. I bought this. I'm bailing it up to you. Put it, put it in the plane. Okay. Thank you, Lord. Yeah. Amen. 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 Oh, it hadn't hurt half my stories. Wow. Amen. So God is healing. Yes. God is said for you. We're, we're going to pray for healing in many here. We have plenty of time. And, but I want you to focus. I want you to see whatever your situation is. I want you to see it disappearing by the hand of God. Yeah. Whether it's a physical healing, an emotional healing, whatever it is, financial healing. I told you a while back, a lot of people pray, God bless me financially, but their finances are in shambles by the way they're spending. Mm -hmm. How many times did you pray about a preacher? Hey, I got a new car going out. I'm going to spend everything I can buy, all the <laughs> bling I can get. I'm going to get that new motorcycle, James. <laughs> Amen. Whatever. You vote for you. You don't vote. You don't why I'm going to fall over. But amen. But I'm just going to go blow it on everything. Then I'm going to figure out how to pay my monthly payment. God bless me, bless me. But the lifestyle of you, Lord, I want my use of you. I don't have any time for you. Amen. Amen. Lord, I'm really too busy for you. We should ask God, do not just purchases, but even major life changes, we should see God's face. Mm -hmm. Yes. I say, I want to preach in this message today. I was preaching another one. Amen. But we'll get back to it, whether here or Friday. We'll, we'll get back to it one or two later. But when God laid this on my heart, I'd wake up at night. Romans chapter 4. Romans chapter, I mean, every time I'd wake up. Romans chapter 4. Wow. And I wasn't comfortable with the flow of the other. I put it together. I got you know, something out. I don't have something in order here. And then during the night, Romans chapter over and over and over. Thank um, you. I got up early on the computer, printed this out. Romans chapter four. Amen. Great. Not a familiar area to me, but God wanted today. Maybe not for you here, but maybe somebody on Facebook or maybe by Zoom. Uh, it's going to be on YouTube for years available. There's about 159 or 160 YouTube videos for free on my. YouTube channel. So let's stand a moment. I want to just pray a few minutes before we even have no no I don't want to come up yet. We we'll have many time we'll pray for everybody. Any special prayer before we leave. I, I promise you. But I told to the group the other Friday night. I said some people the old song, I surrender all. It's like in their heart, they're saying, I, I surrender some. I surrender some. God, here's your tip. My time, my finding, here's your tip. You don't tip God. God wants all of you. Amen. 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 He wants all of us. A vessel sold out to God is very powerful. Very powerful. The vessel sold out to God is very powerful. Amen. Amen. So there, there's nothing he cannot do. But he he's waiting for us sometimes to take a step. See, the Bible says, no man comes to God, listen carefully, except the Spirit draw him. But then the Bible also says, draw near to God, he'll draw near to you. Myself personally, I believe the Holy Spirit of God draws us. To, to him to a close proximity and then it stops moving and we must make a choice then of our own free will because he does not force us that we make a choice I will draw near to you he said if you do that I'll draw near to you I'm resting away on you know, like he comes so close drawing you but then I had to make a decision that the Holy Spirit does not force himself on you 
I see such shallow Christians in our nation. Shallow. Mm. Just, just shallow. The Lord's not number one. They're number one in their life. They're seeking everything. But this is all works out. Yes, Jesus. We are not seeking God. He's a source. He's a source. Amen. Of every miracle. We've seen over 12,000 miracles worldwide. Cancer disappear. AIDS disappear. Uh, TV disappear. A blinded eyes pop up right here in this county twice. In Eastern prison for a closure. 100% blind made their eyes poop. It's like that popped up instantly. Yeah. Amen. It cripples walking. Believe him for joy, just like the Bible said. Deaf ears popping open. You need the baptism of the Holy Spirit. Jesus said in Acts 1 that you shall receive power after the Holy Spirit has come. I need that power to do it. We need the baptism of the Holy Spirit to, to do the work of Jesus on this earth. We have a work to do. That's why I'm not in a hurry to leave. I've been to heaven several times, third <laughs> heaven. I've been caught in the way of the Spirit. As I've said a while ago, multiple times, I've been telling you how many times in the Spirit realm. And I, I've seen people, you, you wouldn't think you'd go see if you can. See, there's nothing dead in heaven. Yes, so Amen. Amen. Even the flowers are, are light. I mean, just uh, iridescent on steroids in heaven. They're living there. So there's an old song about living color. They're beautiful. But the thing is, I'm not in a hurry for my final vote, like I said a while ago. I have a work to do here. Thank you, Jesus. Nations are calling. Amen. We're going to go to Zambia shortly. There's a work to do. We'll be trained pastors and leaders, go to villages, preaching in churches. Oh, the only reason we're going there is because they don't have this teaching yet. Oh, if they had it, no use to be going. We just save the money. We may go somewhere else. But we go where they never heard this thing. We could travel this city, this little region, and you'd probably not find a church that had heard these messages that we teach. Amen. Amen. But the revelation that I'm sharing with you is the, is the reason I see what I see. It's not me. Don't put me on, Pedersen. But it starts with biblical meditation. Joshua 1. Meditate on the word of God day and night. You don't have to pour from your mouth. The Jews would read it. They meditate on it. Think about it. And they speak it. That's why you see a Jew in front of the Western Wall speaking of their prayers. It's biblical meditation. That's it, cross legged like a guru on the mountainside or something. How you, how you want to pronounce it? But it goes from meditation to revelation. Jesus said, Out of our innermost being will flow rivers of living water. It goes meditation, revelation, manifestation. That's Jesus. That revelation releases the anointing. And the anointing destroys the, destroys the yoke. We got to stay within the Bible confines. So I'm always looking outside at some weird, weird stuff out there. Oh, I got something new. Uh, I, I got something. I got something old. It still works fine. Amen. 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 Like the song says, "Don't tell me my God can do it." Amen. I've just seen it. I've seen the cripples walking, cancer disappearing, dead raised. Many right in the throat of the dead pull right out of it. I see the totally dead rape right here in this city. Amen. Years ago. Let's pray before we even start coming up for prayer. Then after that, we'll, anybody wants to come up for prayer? Again, we ask that only those trained on my Friday night being supernatural be involved in actually in here laying hands, but you can pray from there. That's fine. And we don't want everybody from Team Supernatural in there at one time. Lord Jesus, we love you, Lord. Yes, we praise and worship you, Lord God, above every name. God, I magnify you right now, Lord. God, let your Holy Spirit move in a mighty way, Lord. God, let the Holy Spirit move in a mighty way in here right now, Lord. Oh God, I don't want me to rush to rush out from the next, next thing, Lord. But Lord, let me say, I want, I want you, Lord. I'm hungry, I'm thirsty for you, Lord. I'm seeking you, Lord.
Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, we do not wait for the Lord. Yes, Yes, I in the name of Jesus right now. I every false doctor right now. In the name of Jesus, every lying spirit, I'm finding. Yes, Jesus, 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 Yes. Thank you, Lord. Yes. We'll minister to you. Yes, Lord. Like you said, here we, we don't pray for the sick, we heal the sick. That's what Jesus said to do is heal the sick. Praise God. <laughs> This ministry right now in in remember folks what I thought you were gonna die. Start feeling the spirit. You are Jesus, right? I command that nerve be released. Can you say I can nerve be impeached right now? Right now. I command that spine to open in the name of Jesus right now. Yeah. I command that nerve, oh God, be released. We are not to come I speak to the bone in that spine. Yeah. God, there is this curation of bone right now. I command brain you. Mm -hmm. I command it brain you right now. In Jesus' name. Yes. I thank you, Lord. Yes. Pain, spirit of pain, go. Yes, Lord. In Jesus' name. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Yeah, you know, You're going to check and look for the absence of pain, not for pain. He said in the word of God, that as we pray, believe that we have received and we shall receive. We believe we receive, we're not looking for the tumor, we're not looking for the pain. We're looking for the absence of the pain. We're absence of the pain. In yeah. Jesus' name. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Take your way, Lord. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Country Lord, you're away. Amen. Amen. We'll keep praying. Don't go away. Once you What's it doing? I see it. Well, yeah, it is. I really need to have a bunch of uh, oh, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah.
I command the blood to be cleansed. Yeah, by our bacterial infection, the blood, I command it to be cleansed right now. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Anybody else prepared? Just come on up. You don't have to wait. You can stay in here too. Anybody having shoulder pain, right shoulder pain? Maybe it's my pain then. My pain. No. Uh, pain no. Night, they brought their husband up. No. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I got a pain in the neck. Here, honey, yeah. You know, that's what hurts. I can't help you. I had too much fun. <laughs> How you feeling? Need your prayer, dude? Have a seat there. Yeah. 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 Way too much fun. Thank you, Lord. 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 Yeah, yeah, I felt yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. As you're sitting there, I hear the spirit one labor shorter. Amen. Hallelujah. See, God, God knows everything. God sees what we can't see. You know what else? How's that y'all feeling? Okay. Jesus' name, we pray for Ernie. Yes, yes, y'all totally yes, healed. Yes, I accelerate healing. Yes, bring the place to be like we stand the line, but do it right now today. Yes, yes. To yes. heal it totally in Jesus' name. We yes. thank you, Lord. Thank Amen. Praise God. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. God is so good. Yes, he is. Amen. Death is possible to our God. Not at all. Praise Amen. God. Hallelujah. Right. Amen. So we. Tell everybody goodbye on Facebook land and God bless you and heal you. <laughs>